Hello and welcome to another week of absolute guff on two wheels. Today is, what the, it's Saturday today and I'm on a rare solo bike ride with Mrs. Blob on a bike today. Well, Sam is at a little party, so we've got some childcare for a few hours. So whilst we haven't got long enough to uh, go and shred at Halden Forest or something, we are making most of the delights, or lack of, at Cookworthy Forest for a few little laps and a few miles. Nice bit of rooty action. It is a windy one today. Not normally a day when I'd uh, normally go for a bicycle ride, but the opportunity to have some time without Sam literally never happens. We've got no family near us here. So if you get the opportunity, you just grab it. And typically, it hasn't rained all day. Guess what it's just I doing? <sighs> Cannot keep up with Mrs. Blob on a bike. Whew. So we've just bossed out two laps uh, anti-clockwise. And now we're gonna try clockwise just to spice it up a bit because it is dull around here. <sighs> just turning around in the car park. Let's get around the other way. Well, that's smart. Right, we're almost done here at Cookworthy Forest. I haven't shown you much because it is dull as dishwater, but Mrs. Bob on a bike is heading back via the path over there. And I'm gonna take this little rooty wooded section. It's basically just a level bit of woodland that you can ride your bike through, which is saying something around here. Last hill and it is a killer, but uh, my wife is just off. I don't know where she gets the energy from, but I'd like some of it, please. This has worn me out today. Not far to go. Oh, hang in now. Right, that last hill is done. Just gentle glide down to the car park and the rest. Dodging the dog poo. Some dog owners are disgusting, aren't they? So that was just a real quick one today, just to go and get a few miles. And it was nice to get a bit of fresh air, even though it was cold and wet. Well, not wet, but horrible. It did stop raining, actually. Anyway, 5.26 miles. That will do it for today. Perhaps some more tomorrow, but it is really windy tomorrow, so perhaps not. Hey guys, it's Sunday morning and the weather is a bit pony today for a bicycle ride. So what do you do instead? Today's little venture onto Dartmoor is done and dusted. We walked up to the top of that one over there, and uh, it seems like a long way. It's blooming hard work, but it's only 1.2, sorry, 1.92 miles. Uh, but that is a good workout. Hopefully, we'll be back on the bike next time. Later. Good afternoon. It is Wednesday, and uh, I find myself at Tiscot Woods in Bude for a little jolly before it closes down. <laughs> Uh, but it's not closing down for good. The forestry are coming in to do some smashing about and then it will reopen, but no one knows when. So I'm gonna smash out a few little laps here today just to get some in before it closes. Now, uh, there was a couple of little jumps and stuff which I found with Lee last time when we came. So I'd like to try and check those out if possible. Uh, if I can find them, that is. <laughs> anyway, be nice to get to three or four miles here as well today. So I'm going to shut up and get to the top. So I can tell already it's going to be a bit uh, more sloppy today than it was last time I came here. Because it has rained a fair amount actually since uh, last time I was here. Probably 10 days ago. Anyway, I'm going to do one full lap down to the bottom pretty much. And skirt up to the little jumps at the top. Um, because I'd like to get a little bit of distance in from the start. So let's get to it. And hopefully I've sorted out my GoPro angle a bit. I will check afterwards so I don't make the same mistake twice today. 
Okay, warm up run all the way to the bottom. Let's get on with it. Oh, right gear would be nice. A gear would be nice, even better. Oh yeah, it is slushy. It's gonna be quite slow, I think, and slippy. Oh. Yeah, very slippy, actually. But it just adds to the fun. Which one am I going this way, I think? Yep. Someone's added that bit. I think it's up here. <sighs> yeah, I know where we are now. Oh, I'm naked already. Not enough speed for that today. Whee! Oh. Okay, I'd like to be able to have enough speed for these bad boys, but I think I need to make a special one for that so I'm not knackered before I get to him. <laughs> Welcome to my world. Whatever, which way I was going there? Nice little boot over there. Oh, my back end slid right out then. Luckily, I managed to hold it together. Just in time for that. Uh, straight on, I think. Oh, this is rooty. This bit down here. Oh, horrid, 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 horribleness. But I seem to have done it. Oh, this is a horrible rut, I'm in. Still in it. Oh, no, we're good. Did not have enough speed on for that, not that. Oh, Mr. Squirrel was nearly dead then. Holy. Oh, that was hard work. But let's get to the top and uh, do a few little jumps. Let's go and do some jumps. I did just notice actually my GoPro was still angling down a little bit too much. So I have bunged it up a bit. Let's see what it looks like now. So here we are, just pushing up to the top, this little step down there. And we've got a little set of doubles just before that. And uh, you can see it's been windy actually last week. And there's a lot more trees and stuff down since last time. Anyway, let's get uh, to the top and see how these jumps are going. Okay, let's uh, go and have a look, see how bad I can make these jumps look. I can remember which way it is. Can't really see much of a trail at the moment. I think it's down here, yep. Oh, this is going to be slow. But we made it. Oh, a bit skewed in the air there, but uh, I'm still alive. Let's go again. Okay, so silly me forgot to change the battery in my GoPro today, so I'm probably going to keep the short short uh, footage bits, I think, today. That doesn't make any sense, but you know what I mean. Uh, yeah, well, well, I always change the battery, but uh, not today. Anyway, I still got over 50%, so we're good for a few more little shreds. Let's go and check out some more trails. I'm going to do these jumps one more time now. Right, I'm bang at the top now. Got a nice wind turbine just there, and the jumps are there, so that's where I'm heading. You. I need to put some air in my tyres. Yeah! Well, I went quite big on that one. Right, let's get out of here. I think it's down here. Yeah. Haven't left anything up there. Nope.
Right, let's get to uh, right at the bottom now, actually. Uh, couldn't be right at the top there. Oh man, why didn't I change gear? Right, this is the bottom of the trails. Let's walk up here. When I came up here with Lee a couple of weeks ago, he mentioned that there was a monument of some description uh, up here. And I can't see anything obvious, but there is this ring of mound, mounded up earth that goes round in kind of a circle with a clearing in the middle. So I'm guessing this is it. And they're like a big Christmas tree bang in the middle. So uh, obviously not riding my bike, just pushing it because I'm not disrespectful. So now I've seen it, I never have to come here again. <laughs> right, let's get back walking, of course. So obviously I have my own little printing business and uh, over the last couple of three months, I'll be doing more and more stickers for YouTubers. <laughs> uh, like dicking about. Um, and this week did something for Uphill Phil. So I'll put a link to his uh, channel up here somewhere. Definitely go and check that out. That's very interesting. Uh, so thank you very much, Phil. Uh, so if you need any stickers for your business or just for your riding crew, then uh, get in touch and I'll hook you up. Okay, I'm not too far from the top, top now. And uh, here we have a nice big table top, which is pretty uh, pretty long actually. It's probably about 12 foot long, I reckon. I reckon I could lie down on it twice. Uh, yeah. So anyway, that's where I'm headed. You can see where most people land before the end. And that'll probably be me. Okay, uh, it has started raining, so I don't know how much more there'll be in this ride. But let's go and do this uh, table top down here, I think. Yes, there it is. Oh, Jesus wept. I nearly went straight over the handlebars. <laughs> I don't know why, but I pooped my pants. Oh, well, right, let's go and find that step down thing I was talking about. Okay, if I remember correctly, you've got to turn off here somewhere for the uh, drop off. So let's go and have a look, see if I can find it down here. My battery indicator is now yellow, so uh, expect to disappear at any moment. There's literally loads of trails just going through here, and this is not what I'm looking for. Right, turn you off for a sec. Right, I think I found the right path now, so let's go and check it out. Is this it? Who knows? I don't think so, but I've never seen this one before, so I'm taking it. <laughs> what is that guy? Uh, no way, but looks of things. Oh man, Rabbit Warren clearly goes there. There's loads of technical sort of stuff in these woods, but that is not what I'm looking for today. So I am totally lost actually, but I have, do seem to have come to that monument again. There's another, there's that clearing again, and just through the gap, I can see the boot that I'm looking for, but I can't see the trail that goes to it. So I'm going to respectfully walk down here and see if I can find it. Okay, I have now figured out where the uh, top of the trail is. But I've decided, I saw another little trail poking out from uh, near the top. And I thought I'd go and check it out. And it appears to be an abandoned one. A nice little uh, corner there, firmed corner, covered in moss. I don't think anyone's ridden that in some time. I'm about it. When I get to the top. It is spiky here today. Well, that was exceptionally tumbleweed, which probably explains why no one's riding it. Anyway, I'm heading down here and find this drop off. Oh, oh here we go. Oh, I know I can hit that, but it's just doing it today on my own here with no one else about, which is scaring me a little bit. I'm going to assess the situation. <laughs> well, I know that I can do that. Uh, it's certainly no worse than the Bowler Log at Old Hill Bike Park, but uh, there's lots of people there if I do crash. I know it sounds pony, but that is reality. If I crash in here, someone probably won't come in here. And uh, particularly because it's going to be closed. I know there'll be forest workers and whatnot, but uh, who knows if they're coming to this bit. Anyway, <laughs> oh God, it's not like a drama queen. Anyway. So uh, I am looking at it still, I haven't decided against it, but I don't want to be cleaning my pants out.
I literally just did it. I've perched my GoPro on a stick and when I've got to the jump, it's fallen down and not caught it. And the battery had died, so I've got to do this quick again and try and get it again on my helmet this time. Okay, got to prove I wasn't lying. Yeah, get in. Yeah, boy. I'm pleased with myself about that. Don't need to go down the bottom. Right, let's go and see if I can find some more stunts to do. Right, so that is today's ride done and dusted. I did accidentally leave it on uh, my phone on Strava when I was driving back, but I did manage 6.1 uh, miles. Sorry, sorry, it was 3.1 miles. What am I chatting about? Uh, anyway, so I did some rad stunts today. I even scared myself on uh, that little step down set of doubles. Don't really know what you call it, but uh, I, when I looked at that, first of all, I thought, oh man, I thought I was going to do this, but I ain't. But I did it. And I did it three times, actually. I don't know if any of it was caught on camera because the first time my GoPro fell over because I propped it up on a stick. Uh, so I don't know when it fell over. Uh, the second time um, I had it on my helmet and I think that worked, actually. But the next time I propped it up on a tree, uh, a bit better. Uh, just as I'd landed, I heard the beep, beep, beep noise that your GoPro does when it's turning off. So I don't know whether it caught that either. So anyway, hopefully I caught some good footage of that because it scared me. A bit anyway uh what's going on uh yeah anyway i just wanted to mention that monday tuesday this week's been really busy uh got had a lot of printing on which is good uh but it has stopped me getting out of my bicycle tomorrow being thursday um i've just got loads of parcels coming uh all the printing needs goods and vinyl and stuff like that so i've had to order some vinyl which is coming tomorrow from a couple of different suppliers i don't know if i'm going to get out tomorrow um i'm taking my bicycle home with me today my mountain bike uh because there's potential for a bike date with my wife on friday but i'm bringing her smart car to work tomorrow so i can't then bring my bike home for friday so that's going home today so if i do ride tomorrow it will be on my single speed the first time since my crash anyway catch you later tomorrow hopefully hello and good morning it is thursday morning and uh didn't really think that I'd get a chance to come out today on my bicycle ride, but uh, I have got two parcels coming today and I do need to be there to receive them. Uh, and it's just me there, so I've got to do it myself. Anyway, uh, one of them I haven't been given a time for. The other one is out for delivery, but doesn't normally come until after I've had my lunch at 11 o'clock. So uh, it's a bit of a risky maneuver today, but I figured I do need to uh, get out and Burn a few calories, I had a few biscuits this week. Anyway, so it is a freezing cold day today. Uh, since I had a bike ride yesterday, don't know why I took a different pair of gloves with me, the ones I keep at my unit. Uh, so today I am riding without gloves and my hands have got like the ice cream headache. They are absolutely Baltic and they hurt actually, but uh, can't do much about it. I have got some big waterproof gloves in my uh, bag in case they get so bad, but I hate wearing them, they're so clunky. Anyway, post office today, let's get on with it. And my battery's not gonna die today. I'm back on my single speed today. Uh, first time actually after my crash. So hopefully uh, I can keep both of the wheels underneath me today. <laughs> my finger still hurts, but the rest has uh, healed up nicely. But yeah, my finger is painful still. Anyway, not gonna cry about that. Let's get to this post office. It is slow going today, it is busy. Not to, it's, normally this is the busiest bit, but uh, further back, lots of people, a lot of dog walkers chatting, getting in the way, uh, which is what you do, I suppose, when you're out walking your dog. Yeah. Right, let's get up this hill, shall we? Not this one, it's around the corner. My hands have pretty much got used to this cold weather now, they're tingling a little bit for some reason, which is weird, but uh, I am now on my way back and negotiating all the dogs. Over up here. <laughs> so anyway, my trail pants are uh, at home actually with my mountain bike in preparation for tomorrow's potential uh, bike date with my wife. So I've had to chuck on my trail pants. They're the same as my other ones, they're just a size bigger. And uh, <laughs> I was riding up the hill to the post office. Uh, it's a slug, you have to get out of the saddle on this thing and uh, give it max. And in doing so, my trousers started falling down because they're a bit looser than the other ones. So uh, whilst I'm pleased I've got a pair of trousers that uh, aren't too tight, I did have to sit down and do the rest half of the hill, which was not pleasant. I'm pleased to say I did manage to negotiate that slippery corner 
uh, road junction today without falling on my bottom. So uh, all good today. Right, not far from my unit now. Let's hope I've beaten TNT with my parcel. Whew. Neighbour took him. Sweet. Okay, today's distance 6.43 miles, which I'm pleased about. Um, yeah, not been getting that many miles in lately, but I've been having a lot of fun on my bicycle, hitting some trails and sessioning stuff, trying to get my technique uh, better and get a bit more skillful. Um, so, yes, uh, luckily one of my neighbours uh, took my parcels in today, uh, but I can't rely on that. There's a lot of businesses on this little industrial bit just here, uh, but more often than not, there's only like one or two people here, so I can never rely on uh, just uh, asking them to leave it with a neighbour, because most of the time, it's just me really here. Um, and I don't like bothering other people, if you know what I mean. Anyway, uh, it, uh, as a stroke of luck, it has just started wanging it down outside. And I couldn't even uh, feel that coming when I just got coming from outside. I had no inclination it was about to start raining. So that was brilliant timing. And uh, overall, a good day. But that does conclude my cycling for this week. It is way day tomorrow. Uh, I've had a few rich tea biscuits this week. So we'll have to wait and see what happens there. But I uh, got my hopes up. Uh, but prepare for the worst. <laughs> anyway, we'll wait and see what happens. See you then. Oh, actually, yeah, I think it's bike date tomorrow, so I might have, be having to do my way in from home. Uh, so the parameters will have changed somewhat, uh, which I don't really like doing, but I haven't got a choice because, uh, yeah, I need to have my scales to do that. So, oh, man, I'm wanging on. Shut up. Good morning, everyone. I have to be quiet. It is 6.30 in the morning. Everyone else is asleep, but it is my way day today, and we're off to Heldon Forest this morning. I need to do it now. Uh, I haven't done as much cycling this week as I would have hoped, but... I've got a few miles in, I've done a nice bit of shredding, and I've not eaten too bad, apart from a few biscuits, uh, which is normal anyway, so uh, let's see how we get on. I will find out what my weight was last week and let you know, one second, there we are, 114.3 to beat, let's see how we get on, 114.3 kilos to beat, let's see how we get on today. Well, that is not exactly what I wanted, but to be honest, I was absolutely flabbergasted last week that I made a lot. <laughs> so maybe it's caught up with me. Anyway, onwards and upwards, let's have another great week of cycling. I am on a bicycle date this morning with my wife at Howden Forest. So uh, we're gonna go and get that done and get a few miles in. We're gonna do the longer blue today, I think, which is a bit more of a leg killer. So we'll have to wait and see what happens, but uh, hoping for a better week next week. Thanks for watching, give us a like. Leave a comment below, let me know how you got on this week, and don't forget to subscribe down there, alright? Uh, and I will see you next week for more. Thank you.